In the last video, we introduced the concept of encapsulation. And here we have a molecule of cyanic acid, a cyanide group, and then a hydroxyl group at one end of it. And as you've seen us discuss on the previous videos, um, hydroxyl groups, the oxygen is sp2 hybridized. So it has a lone pair of sp2 electrons and a lone pair of p orbital pi electrons. As we talked about in just the last video, the nitrogen here is sp hybridized, and this lone electron pair are sp electrons. So as we discussed in more detail in the last video, the carbon and the nitrogen from this double pi bond are like surrounded by a cylinder of negative charges and then the right end of the cylinder is sort of capped off so to speak by this sp lone electron pair. Now when cyanic acid loses the proton then this oxygen is no longer sp2 hybridized it is now sp hybridized. This oxygen has an extra electron, of course, from it was sharing the electron with uh, hydrogen. The proton went away, leaving the, leaving the electron behind. Of course, the oxygen has a negative charge. So now the block diagram for the oxygen ion is like this. the 2s orbital, and now for the p orbitals, this is it for oxygen, but now for the extra electron, it's now like this, and these hybridize the s orbital and one of the p orbitals not just one of the p orbitals, but the p orbital that still has a single electron remaining in it, hybridized to form molecular sp orbitals. And then we have the unhybridized p orbitals, each containing a lone electron pair. Like this. So these would be lone electron, pi electrons here and here, and here would be the sp electron. Remember these bonds or these orbitals are 180 degrees apart. So for the oxygen atom an sp orbital, an sp orbital, a lone electron pair, a single electron, and then the carbon atom, of course that's sp hybridized too, and that has a single electron pair. Actually, they, these two electron pairs are shared right here where the sp orbitals overlap to form the sigma bond. Um, but what's important here for this molecule is that it has an s lone pair of sp electrons at this end of the molecule and a lone pair of sp electrons at that end of the molecule. So it is encapsulated at both ends. And also there can be a resonance structure for it as well. Again, the oxygen has sp, a lone pair of sp electrons, and then two lone pair of pi electrons a single bond to the carbon. These are both sp orbital overlaps for the oxygen and the carbon. And 
sp overlap between the carbon and the nitrogen as we start as we described in the previous video and sp lone electron pair plus the double pi bond and then what can happen here to form resonance structures as we talked about in the previous videos we could imagine that here the nitrogen and the carbon and this pi bond each contribute a pi electron to that bond nitrogen keeps both of them so carbon got robbed of a pi electron but then here one of these pi electrons can come in and form the double bond with carbon so we have this structure double bond double bond because nitrogen robbed an electron from carbon it now has a negative charge and a lone pair of pi electrons in addition to its sp electrons for this oxygen it donated those pi electrons but more important it has its sp electrons here and also another lone pair of pi electrons but we have this resonance structure here then um, oh and this has a negative charge of course this oxygen and let's take the arrows out now so it doesn't look quite so confusing so here's the resonance structure again notice there's charge dispersion instead of charge separation and both ends of the molecule have sp lone electron pairs both ends of the molecules then are encapsulated as we saw in the previous video that encapsulation can be a very um, provide a very stabilizing effect so this ligon here is very stable and it's a very um, potent uh, abidentate ligon because this lone pair of sp electrons at this end of the molecule or this pair of sp electrons at this end of the molecule can both participate then in forming coordinate bonds and it's a linear molecule so it can sort of like move in like a torpedo and either one of sp electrons here then can uh, form a, um, a coordinate bond so it's a very powerful ligon and a very stable ligon from the resonance stabilization and the encapsulation at both ends of the molecule okay in the next video we will have one more example of a resonance system that also uh, has uh, encapsulation occurring along with the resonance structures and that will be in the next video um, again a reminder the playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org